In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This Mass is offered for all living and deceased mothers. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good Glory to God. The right hand of our 
us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we live in remembrance we may always hold in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him, and falling at his feet, paid him homage. Peter, however, raised him up, saying, Get up, I myself am also a human being. And Peter proceeded to speak and said, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. When Peter was still speaking these things, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the word. The circumcised believers who had accompanied Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit should have been poured out on the Gentiles also. For they could hear them speaking in tongues and glorifying God. Then Peter responded, can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit even as we have? He ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exalt because you rule the people's inequity. The nations on the earth A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only son into the world so we may have life through him. In this love, 
not that we have loved God, but that he has loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, as the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my joy may be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's, one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you my friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that when whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. The first fruits of the Paschal mystery is that the reality of God described to God's people not in the terms of some external power that forces itself in, on a person, but rather in terms of an inner state, something that happens inside of a believer. The words that are used by John to speak of all these are love and joy. It is John who tells us what love is. According to the second reading, love consists in this, in that God has loved us and sent his son as an offering for you. So most simply put, love is what Christ has done for us. That is what we must do for one another in every situation in which we find ourselves. So the Paschal mystery is love and joy. The love and joy are generated by the power of the risen Christ in the heart of every person today on the Mother's Day, we believe that God's love and joy are generated in the heart of each our earthly mother. God sent his son to the world. A mother gives birth to her child and brings her son or daughter to the world through the miracle of human birth. 
Love is what Christ has done for us. Love is what each mom gives to her child. She loves her healthy child. She loves her child with some disability, physical, mental. She loves her child as mother, as godmother, grandmother. She loves her child unconditionally, as God loves us. The first thing Christ did for us was to give himself. Each mother, from the moment of conception, her pregnancy, gives herself to her child. She watches her diet, she abstains from the things that could possibly cause any harm to her tiny child in her womb. Sometimes she gives up her career job in order to take good care of her child. The first thing and the last thing in the, the world each mother does are to take good care of her baby for her grown son and daughter. Because a true lover assists others in engineering their own growth, existing their own virtue and ability, true lover demands of others that they become the best they can be. Once that demand is made, true lover steps back and allows it to happen. And that's my mother. The, mom, the mark of a Christian lover is joy. Joy means a basic sense of righteousness about one's life. So God has indeed loved us and sent us to love one another. Today on Mother's Day we realize how great is the gift to have a mother who loves her child and brings joy to our lives and makes everything right. We also realized that living and deceased mothers are always close to our heart and nothing could ever change that. I love you, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial of the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in the Father's steadfast love, let us offer him our prayers this day. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, may she, through the grace of the Holy Spirit, continue to grow in holiness and fortitude. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For public servants, may Christ's commandment of love be their daily guide and source of strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For all who feel lost or alone, may the Lord provide a community of faith to come alongside them as witnesses of his love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who've recently joined the church, may the new life they experience in Christ continue to bring them joy throughout this Easter season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parishioners and friends who faithfully support our church, may they be abundantly blessed and protected. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For living and deceased mothers for whom this Mass is being offered, remember the founders, builders, benefactors of our parish, and all the souls in purgatory. May God in his mercy and love grant them eternal rest and happiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we make now in silence of our hearts may they be heard and answered. We pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus. Father of mercy and love, we humbly bring before you these prayers and petitions that we ask in the name of Jesus, your Son, to intercession of Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of Jesus. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sister, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, your mighty Father. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. Lift up your cries, lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifice of all fulfillment, the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, he showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and Hedwig, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Him, with him and him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Hear the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, vita dulce do espes nostra salve, a te clamamos, exules filii heve, a te suspiramos, cenentes esplentes, in ham lacrimalum vale, eia ergo advocata nostra, ilos tuos misericordis oculos, ad nos converte, et Iesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende, O Clemens, O Pia, O Dulcis, Virgo Maria, let us pray. O mighty ever-living God, who restored us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food through Christ our Lord. Saint Michael, the Archangel, Defend us in battle. Defends against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits, from abound the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Please be seated for a few seconds. We don't have bulletins this week. They did not come on time. And uh, the important thing to remember that uh, the Feast of the Ascension, usually we call it Ascension Thursday, it's supposed to be this coming Thursday, is transferred. The Feast of Ascension is transferred to next Sunday. So the day of obligation that usually is observed during the week this year because of the COVID situation is transferred to Sunday. We just received a letter from Cardinal Tobin, our Archbishop of Newark. At the 10 o'clock mass today, we had the crowning of Mary, mother of Jesus in honor of um, the mother of, of Jesus and uh, of, in the Feast of Mother's Day, we'd like to acknowledge Mother of, of God, Mother of Jesus in this way. The children from First Communion and, and other children came to the special mass and they put the crown of flowers on, on Mary's head beautiful celebration, and uh, in a way it reminds us that we should today honor all our mothers in uh, the way we, we can today. So we have this prayer, the prayer for mothers. I would like to read it to you. God bless all mothers, godmothers and grandmothers, that their love may be deep and tender, and that they may lead their children to know and do what is good, living not for themselves alone, but for God and for others. Amen. During this time, we pray for all our living mothers, that God may bless them with good health and many years of happiness. We also pray for our mothers who have died, that they may be blessed in the company of the Blessed Mother, and may they surround us with their unending love. And we have additional prayer for mothers that are present at this Eucharist. So I would like all mothers to kneel for the blessing, special blessing. Loving God as a mother gives life and nourishment to her children, so watch of, over your church, bless these women, that they may be strengthened as Christian mothers, that the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. Grant this through Christ our Lord. And please stand for the blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.
go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Happy Mother's Day. Lord.